Dude. Will we find Dude. something? Are you are you ready? I'm ready. What are is it? Are you ready? What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on our supercar project and as you've seen in the previous video we did remove the engine out the back of this thing. Now what we're going to focus on is actually removing everything from the interior. Doesn't mean all this stuff that we took off the engine bay. I'm talking about the seats, the dash, the probably the carpet if it's still there. All these plastic pieces molding everything just completely gut it and to hopefully get this thing in its raw form just to see what we need to order including the wiring harness because we don't know how far it runs along inside the car and what actually runs the engine. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and start tearing this interior apart and if we have time we're going to move on to this engine that's just sitting over here. Ooh. Nice crisp marshmallow right here. We're gonna start tearing this thing apart too, right? Yes, sir. Hopefully we can take these manifolds off, take the valve, valve covers. covers. There is gonna be a lot of probably, we're gonna have to probably use some kind of stuff to break and tooth some things yeah, because for sure. everything did melt like to unbolt the valve covers. A lot of these bolts are hidden by the plastic that just melted over or aluminum. So it's gonna be a challenge of its own, but for now we're gonna focus on that interior. So let's get straight to work. was a sick carpet at one point. Yep, definitely. Better than the ones that we had. Yeah, for sure. This interior overall was amazing. That red on black. That red, we gotta get something with red interior, don't we? Yeah, the red looks really good, especially on a white car, but. We got most of the stuff out, now it's just like these glass and all this little plastic pieces that are melted. Oh yeah, dude, they will cut your hands really easily. There's bunches of pieces of glass, you can't really see it, so we're trying to find the best method to like scoop this stuff up without getting our hands all cut up because all Dangerous. this little, little pieces of glass done cut our hands up plenty of times, so gotta be careful. Maybe get some kind of scooper or something or, or maybe, a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, or maybe you just use a vacuum cleaner to try to get as much as possible yep. and uh, get this sucker cleaned up. So we've been working on this interior, got everything cleaned out on the floor as well as that other side, but we just can't get these seats out. We did manage to lean them forward, both of them, and we did manage to take the front bolts out. They're super easy to get to, but there is two more bolts on the back, which the seats are directly sitting on. And the way to actually get these off is you gotta move the seats forward with the electronic motors when they're good, but I think these things are totally fried. We are gonna try to rip these cushions out from the bottom because they're already bad. There's no point of it. So we're gonna probably get some kind of tool, start ripping at these cushions because there's, I think there's like two to three motors actually at That's the bottom crazy, of the seat dude. or underneath controlling this whole entire mechanism. So we really need them out. So we're gonna do whatever we can and try to get these things ripped out of the car. Dude. Will we find dude, something? Are you are you ready? I'm ready. What are is it? Are you ready? 
Boom! Yo, Lamborghini key. How'd it end up in the freaking backseat, dude? I was, seat, I was just dude. digging underneath all this crap, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. dude. Let's clean it up. Let's do it. That is awesome. I was hoping we would get a Lamborghini key with this thing, but the auction did not have nothing with this thing, so. That's crazy, dude. that is legit. Dude. Luckily, it didn't really get burnt. It didn't look like it. it was just underneath all this trash right here, so. Dude, that is the awesomest is find of this sick. whole entire build right here <laughs> is the actual Lamborghini key. That is awesome. I that, don't know if we're going to need that for our new ECU when we reprogram it and stuff like that. All that I mean, weird this key stuff, is but, expensive in yeah, general. Yeah, that's and true. It's, it's like a $2,000 key, I believe. Yeah, and it's nice to have. Maybe once we connect the power, we can do some clicking. Do some clicking if nothing's burnt. But, dude, let's clean this thing up. I want to see if it's messed up or not because that is awesome finding that underneath the seat. Let's get it. Dude, check that out, dude. It's almost pristine condition. Whoo, that is so awesome. That's probably the, dude, the coolest thing Pull out ever. The actual, the actual turnkey. Yeah, for real. I want to see if it's already pre-cut. I'm sure it is. I hope so. Ooh, yes, sir. That is awesome. Do we That'll have... work for that door, actually. Does it? Does, let's see if it has. I think you got to pop something off. Yeah, we went ahead and popped off the uh, driver's side door. And it is a good condition door. We'll probably be selling this. Ooh. Yep, look at that. Hey, Perfect. That's going to increase the value right there of this door because we're going to yep. sell it probably with that key. Uh, no, that <laughs> or you want to keep it from memory. That is legit, dude. That is... Let's see if it lights up. Oh, no, the battery's dead. You see that? The battery in the Usually probably dead. they flip these batteries. Remember when we bought our Lamborghini? Yeah. And the battery in the key was actually flipped. flipped for some odd yeah. reason. It was that's flipped weird. for some reason, so... Maybe they just flip the battery. Usually a little red light will light up right there if it's good. So, dude, I, I'm actually super pumped about this, finding this key. This is probably the coolest find ever, dude. That is legit. Was it upside down or is it? No, it was actually right side up. So that battery is probably just dead. Yeah, yeah. super dead. A anything could have happened because the firefighters drenched this car so much that uh, the interior is probably filled with water. So this thing probably got really wet, soaking wet. Just put it in a bowl of rice and it should be fine. Bowl of rice, throw it in the oven. And I guarantee you that thing will start up no engine or anything. It'll probably pop the hood. It got the hood popper thing on it. I wonder if that key probably since it, all the ECUs and everything is cut, I don't think the schematics are going to even I function. Mean, don't this run off the immobilizer? Mm -hmm. So maybe it's something in the underneath the dash. That could be possible too. I but, don't know how Lamborghini Hey, but that's out. a good thing to have just in case. So, yeah, so we got a key. I can't even emphasize that how excited I am on this thing. So let's keep going, try to get these seats out and maybe find some more things. So let's get it. got the motor working it was actually seized probably from being rusted inside from being wet from the firefighters washing that whole entire car down but we tapped on it we managed to use some crowbars pushing it helping it go forward and finally moved just enough to get to these bolts right here we got one right here and the other one just under that debris so then two bolts right there and that seat is coming straight out so let's go ahead and pull this sucker out
right guys, so we finally managed to pull out both of the seats. It took a few hours to do so because we had to rip a bunch of stuff apart and actually get the motors back and running because they were seized. Hit them with a hammer a few times, but we got it going. And we also went ahead and cleaned the interior up. Now what we're gonna do is remove this back panel as well as all this trim right here. And then we may move to this front part first or the center console, what do you think? Probably like move, uh, probably clean up this area right here yeah, before we actually dig deep into it. Yeah, tons of fiberglass, tons of carbon fiber and glass. That glass is very dangerous. We're using our vacuum cleaner as best as possible. That thing is about to blow up, honestly. It's sounding <laughs> that thing crazy. Is sounding weird. You may need a new one by the end of this job, but let's go ahead and rip this back panel off and see what kind of damage is behind there. Dang, that is actually freaking sick. I didn't know there was that much stuff going on back here. Look at this, another ECU. Yeah, I mean, it just shows what we're gonna need to do to remove our seat belts, because uh, if you guys seen our uh, actual Huracan, actual Huracan uh, we actually have bad seat belts. That's why our airbag light is on. And that already tells us we need to probably just Remove pop that, that back, back panel and it should be very simple. But dude, check exactly, out all these computers dude. right here. We got a, a, another, another fuse fuses box. right here. So if you're looking for some fuses, they're right here. And what is this? Don't this look like some kind of alarm speaker or something that beeps maybe? Hmm, that is something weird. Maybe it's for this. I mean, there, there, there is a CD changer right here, a radio, whatever you want to call that. I don't so know. Yeah, idea, fried but. another uh, some sort of computer module here. I don't know what that is. I know that's the ECU. Maybe something to I control think the, ECU. Control the uh, soft top. You know what I mean? A bunch of wires. There's probably a lot of extra wires controlling the soft top. You got to think about oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Whenever we take ours apart, half of these are probably not going to be there or they're probably all going to be here. But that is insane, dude. Check out this actuator. This is probably just part of the soft top. You know, all these lines right here. Ooh, air most lines. of these lines, uh, either air or they run off of hydraulics. Yeah, I think all these lines that open up the soft top is all hydraulic lines. They're all melted right here because whenever uh, we were pulling this thing off, we found tons of metal or hydraulic lines all burnt to crisp. So let's go ahead and start taking some of this stuff apart and uh, maybe take this off. What do you think? Yeah, let's remove as much stuff as possible. This, I mean, this is a pretty big piece right here. I think this is the whole entire aluminum structure right here. So we're gonna start ripping all this stuff off maybe get to the bare bones and maybe nothing back here once we remove everything. Yeah, we don't need any of that, honestly. Yeah. We're gonna build something custom there anyway. But I think this is a carbon fiber uh, panel there, which is... That may be with the frame or that may be uh, removable. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and just uh, clean a bunch of this stuff up and start ripping some stuff apart. So finally, that sucker right there, man, that was a tough one, I gotta say, but it is out. The toughest piece we ever pulled out of this car is that for sure. Yeah, definitely. It was a little bit tricky because there was not a lot of people online that done that before. Yeah, and not all of them show exactly where the bolts are to this. You know, there's people yeah. pulling them out, but they don't show where the bolts are located. So we had to sort through a lot of things, find out a lot of things, because we do have a Burton Lamborghini here, so it's a 10 times harder to find the bolts because they're either all black and match the car, you know, barely yeah, can find them, or there's sure. a bunch of debris over them or melted on top and super hard to find, but we finally managed to pull that off. And dude, look how, look look at how that, much dude. it opened it up, dude. That's pretty insane. I gotta say, this little piece, this carbon fiber piece, I guess you'd call this like a backboard or whatever. Uh, uh, firewall. Firewall. Rear yeah. firewall. Maybe, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Maybe we'll cut it off or. Yeah, put a metal think? one or do something, but that's, that's it's definitely. Pretty sturdy, dude. Oh, maybe not. Not with the flops. No, that, not car, a match that the fire flops. done took, it took care of that for us right there. We may have to remove that. It is glued in, it's not like part of the tub. There's like a section of it that is actually glued in. You can see the glue right here and it yeah. goes all along the bottom. We may just remove that definitely. But other than that, dude, we got this interior basically complete other than a, the, dash. the dash. Yeah, we got to remove the dash, the center console, 
all that good stuff. But as oh, you can tell, we got a huge mess on our we hands. We got a huge mess on our hands. This is just the seat and just the, the what was it? That's a soft top mechanism, right? Yeah, exactly. Rollover bars that pop up. Just that alone took all day to do just because how bad it was burnt, guys. So we finally got most of it done. The next thing we're gonna do is probably jump on that dash, get that thing. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and probably clean everything up and call it a night, and then we'll catch these guys tomorrow and do some more work. Peace. All right, guys, so it is the next day. Now we're gonna keep on moving. We're probably gonna clean up this dash area right here, clean up all this glass. And if we can, we're gonna probably remove the rest of this glass right here because it's just in the way and it keeps cracking and getting glass everywhere. And as for the interior of this car, we may rip a few more things out. Just depends, honestly, need to clean up after we remove that, uh, what is it, the roll cage thing, whatever you wanna call yeah, it. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a roll cage or I don't even know what you'd call it. Yeah, that. I'd call it a roll cage because they do pop up when you roll over, but we're gonna probably clean all this up. But first, let's go ahead and start up front in the dash area. There's your speedometer, boys. Dude, that is insane. Dang. Thing got toasted. That's your LCD screen right there. We're gonna need a new one of those for sure because I really do love the original display there. And we got our wires here. I don't know how well that wiring harness held up, but we may buy a new dash harness as well. But that, that's insane. Look how it melted like crazy. I was hoping for a good dash, but... <laughs> this thing completely toasted. It actually melted into some kind of very like chrome, black chrome type of stuff, you know? Yeah, it's like that weird plastic, I think, you know? Yeah, that's, that, that's that LCD screen. That's that nasty stuff. You can actually see a little bit of the screen right here. You see it? You see it? Yep, I see it. Check engine light is on. Yep, already. Check engine light. I can't believe it. But we're just ripping at this dash. We got some crowbars, some some metal prying tools, and we're just going ham at it just to try to get all the way. Yeah. Basically, get the whole entire thing off. We we don't need none of this, obviously. So let's keep moving and break this thing completely apart. guys check this out we have been tearing into this dash it looks pretty crazy i never thought it would look like that underneath yeah it got its own little dash roll cage you see that yeah, it's, it's actually perfect. a little frame structure all up underneath there it's insane and it also has adjustments which i was looking at so they can actually adjust how far up or how how that frame sits so there's tons of adjustment but we were ripping at this airbag right here and it looks to be still a good airbag i think if it didn't damage in the fire but Check this out, guys. Usually, uh, American-made cars or most cars have one igniter, but as you can see, there's one, two, three, even a very little one right here. So that is super crazy. There's and probably ground. yeah, and a ground. So there's probably there's definitely three explosive devices in here at once, just lighting off basically. That's crazy. And the reason why I think that is because you sit so far back in this car, and the dash is so far up that this airbag is a long airbag. So that makes they're, sense. They're trying to shoot as much air as possible to pull that airbag as fast as possible towards your face because you don't go flying out. All right, guys, so we actually just took apart this airbag and uh, this part seems to still be in good condition. It is just a little bit melted there and it's probably just a bad airbag. I mean, it'll probably still I mean, function. Yeah, it's but still a functioning airbag, but since it got melted right here, it might not safe. function properly. You know, it might not even open up properly. So you don't want to reuse this in any car, but what we're going to do is test it out, see if it actually works, you know? Yeah, if all that heat affected it or anything. Yeah, yeah. probably, I don't know. What if the explosive devices already failed, you know, under all that heat, you know? Yeah, it could be possible. So we're going to go ahead and snip these clips right here to connect to the sides of these things and put some power to it see exactly what it does all right so we're out in the testing field yep and uh, don't try this at home yeah don't try this at home we are uh professionals been doing this for many years 
So let's see how high we can get a tire. Right? You want to launch a tire? Or? Whatever we got, we'll throw at it. Yeah. I just don't want this thing. What if it kicks so high up, it like lands on top of our shop or something? <laughs> It'll probably go about 10 feet in the air. Best case scenario. Best. Worst case, it hits, a, hits the moon or something. Worst case, it just doesn't come back down. Go for it. <laughs> that was sick, dude. That thing dude. went about 10 feet. Hey, my calculations were correct. Dude, let's see how big this airbag was. Dude, that was awesome. Now that we know this airbag is good, we can go ahead and sell it. Who wants it? Going once, Ooh. going twice. Dude, that so... is steaming hot. Go ahead and unplug that. Ooh -wee. Ooh, that smells good right about there. Two thousand dollars down the drain. <laughs> oh, more than that, but there is one little explosive device right here. We don't know what that is. Well, probably not even worth it, honestly. You don't want to give it a shot? I yeah, mean. whatever. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little experiment that we had today. Be sure to drop your comments down below of what you thought about that. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. We almost got all the fire damage stuff ripped out of this car. We got a little bit more like the center console. But this stuff is pretty interesting and we're enjoying every bit of it and I hope you guys are also. So with that being said, be sure to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you haven't, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com, copy some merch and support your boys. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace.